Text to columns is one of my favorite features in Excel, and I'll show you why here. Uh, very often, we don't have all of our data in Microsoft Excel. You know, people aren't, that's not the main, uh, main repository for all of our data. It might be in a database, it might be in a text file, it just might be somewhere else. And we have to get that data into Excel. It's not always in the friendliest format, though, to put this data in Excel. So in this example, we've got this text file, text to columns fixed width .txt. And I've got it open in Windows Notepad, the most basic text editor you can possibly get. And so this is a fixed width because every column starts at a certain character position. So if I look at the ID, everything starts at this very beginning of the row, makes sense, date here, everything starts at this character position. If I go straight down the column, everything lines up. So I've got a bunch of spaces padding in between each of these different columns. So I'm gonna just do Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and I'm gonna Control V to paste this into Excel. And what do I get? Well, it doesn't look very good. If I highlight A1, I get all the different column headings in a single cell but with a bunch of spaces in between them it doesn't look good i can't i can't use this data like this it's just worthless to me uh, but i can hold shift and down to highlight all the data in this worksheet and i'm just going to scroll back up just uh, because i like seeing that column header there and then i'm going to, going to go to data text to columns and now Excel guessed that this is fixed width. It guessed correctly, so that's good. So I'm going to click Next. And here I can see where Microsoft Excel thinks all of these columns exist. Uh, so I can, I can make adjustments if I need to. Um, it looks pretty good. If you needed to insert something, you could. Like, you can click an arrow there. Um, you can just drag it onto another arrow to delete it, or you can double click the line. Yeah, I mean, the instructions are right there in, in here. So you can click and drag things around if you want to, like date. I'm going to move date over uh, because otherwise I might cut something off. Uh, so that's looking good. So I'm going to click next. Now I need to choose my data types. Um, and now you'll see I, I selected my top row. Um, so like the, my date should be a uh, date, <laughs> uh, month, day, year. That is correct. Everything else should just probably be text, including credit cards. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Price should be general. Um, make sure everything is being imported correctly. You want dates being imported as dates. Things that should be treated as text should be a text. Otherwise, things like numbers, leading zeros can be dropped if you just leave it as general. So I'm going to click Finish, and magically everything gets separated. So you can see even though this header was treated as a quote-unquote date, it's, it's not getting screwed up. I'm going to double click this to expand it to fit the data. I'm going to do that across the board. And this credit card number, Excel is telling me that we can look at it. Uh, number is stored as text. Well, yeah, that's fine. I, I want to store that as text. So I'm going to select all that and I'm going to ignore that error. Uh, so this is looking good. I'm going to control home, jump to the top, this price column. Let's click home. Let's format it as money. So everything lines up well, looks good. And I am pretty happy with the way everything ended up. Um, now I can start working with this data. So the text to columns feature is really useful when you're importing data from another data source. Very frequently you'll have to do this if you're copying and
pasting information from a website uh, or if you're somebody sending you like um, something in an e a list of names and an email or something this is a very handy feature and I use it all the time